Hi, in this given lecture, we are going to talk about a concrete example how to calculate page ranks for a given network of websites or web pages. In this case, we have four web pages A, B, C, and D. As you can see, we are able to model the network with a directed graph. Basically, the connections represent the links. So A is pointing to B. What does it mean? That website A contains a link pointing to B. Okay, C is pointing to B, B is pointing to D and so on. So what do we have to do? Basically, we just have to use this equation. So the page rank of a given site in the next iteration is the page rank of the given site in the previous iteration and basically we just have to consider pages that are pointing to that given page and we have to divide it by the number of outgoing links. Okay, so what about the zero iteration? Basically this is how we initialize our system. So we just have to define all the nodes or web pages in our network and basically we are going to initialize the page ranks for every single website to be equals to 1 divided by n where n is the number of total pages or total websites 1, 2, 3, 4 so that's why at the beginning all of the web pages will have page rank 1 divided by 4 okay of course we have to make several iterations because these values are not the valid page ranks we just have to initialize these values to be 1 divided by n because we don't know the page ranks by default at the beginning okay what about the first iteration okay so let's consider node a what are the nodes pointing to node a basically we just have a single node the node c so website C is pointing to website A. So we just have to calculate the page rank of this website that's pointing to node A in the previous iteration. What is the page rank of node C in the previous iteration? 1 divided by 4. And we just have to divide it by the number of outgoing links as far as node C is concerned. 1 2, 3 as you can see. So that's why 1 divided by 4 divided by 3. So the page rank of A in the next iteration is going to be 1 divided by 12. What about B? We have to consider web pages pointing to this given website. So website B. 1 divided by 4 is the page rank of A in the previous iteration. How many outgoing links are there? as far as website A is concerned. 1, 2 as you can see. That's why we have to divide it by 2. Plus, we have to consider node C. C has a page rank 1 divided by 4 in the previous iteration and we have to divide it by the number of outgoing links. How many outgoing links are there for node C? 1 as you can see, 2 and 3. So 1 divided by 4 divided by 3. It has something to do with node A. It has something to do with node C. Okay, so 2.5 divided by 12 is going to be the page rank of website B in the first iteration. What about C? We just have to consider all the websites pointing in the direction of C. Okay, 1 divided by 4 divided by 2. That's all about the node A. And 1 divided by 4 divided by 1, that's all about node D. Because node D just have a single outgoing link as you can see. Okay, what about node D? Basically, we have to consider all the websites that are pointing to node D. So node C and node B. What's the page rank of node C in the previous iteration? 1 divided by 4 divided by 3 because C has 3 outgoing links. Plus, 1 divided by 4 is the page rank of B in the previous iteration, divided by 1, because B has just a single outgoing link. So that's why the overall page rank for website D in the first iteration is going to be 4 divided by 12. As you can see, if we sum up all the page ranks for all the websites in the network, we are going to end up with 1 in all of the iterations. 
1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 is equals to 1. 1 divided by 12, 2 dot 5 divided by 12, 4 dot 5 divided by 12, 4 divided by 12 is equals to 1 again. So no matter what iteration we are considering, the sum of the page ranks is going to be 1. We just have to consider every single website in the network and if we sum up the page ranks, we end up with 1. What about the second iteration? Okay, a is 4.5 divided by 12 divided by 3. Why? Because c is pointing to node a. What's the page rank of c in the previous iteration? 4.5 divided by 12 divided by 3 because website c has 3 outgoing links. What about b? We have node A and node C that are pointing to node B, so we just have to consider 1 divided by 12 divided by 2, because this is the page rank of A in the previous iteration, divided by the number of outgoing links, plus 4 that 5 divided by 12 is the page rank of C in the previous iteration, divided by 3, because node C has 3 outgoing links, and so on. This is how we are able to calculate the page ranks of every single web website or node in our network. So for example, let's suppose the situation that we just make two iterations. What do we know? First of all, that if we sum up the page ranks of all the websites in the network, we are going to end up with one. As you can see again, as far as iteration two is concerned, the sum of the page ranks is equals to one. But what does it mean? That basically we are going to have the page ranks. The higher, the better. 4.5 divided by 12 is the greatest number within these values. So we can say that node C is the most important website within this network. Then node D. And as far as I am concerned, it is quite counterintuitive because as you can see, D is not a very important website. Then why is it going to have page rank value 3? because a very important website is pointing to that given website. C is a very important website in this given network and it's pointing to node D. So basically it's very important to understand the basic concept behind Google's page rank. So why is it important to define this equation like this? Because I have created a website three months ago and basically no one is interested in this website. Okay, there are several blog articles, for example, in this website, but whenever someone is looking for integer knapsack problem in Java, so let's type it integer knapsack problem in Java, basically my website is not going to be in the first results. I guess it's going to be in the 10th page or something like this. So what does it mean that my website is not considered to be an important website by Google? And basically this equation is going to make sure that I am not able to hack Google in the sense that basically I just have to make several web pages. For example, I create 10,000 web pages and those web pages are going to point to this given website, Global Software Support. What does it mean that lots of lots of websites, lots of lots of nodes are pointing in the direction of this given website, Global Software Support? So we may have the intuition that Global Software Support is very important and basically Global Software Support is going to be in one of the first search results. So basically, I just have had Google. But it is not going to be feasible because Google's PageRank algorithm doesn't work like that. If we create lots of lots of websites with very very low page ranks, basically it doesn't matter that given website is pointing to several other websites. Basically this is what I would like to show you, that if we have a website without any outgoing links, but a very important website is pointing to that given website, it means that D will have a higher page rank. So we are not able to hack Google. It doesn't matter that we have several low page rank websites pointing to globalsoftwaresupport.com. That website is not going to be more popular. It's not going to have better page rank. Hence, 
it's not going to be in one of the first search results when we search for the topics included in the website. We have to make sure that several websites with high page ranks are pointing to a given website. This is when a given website is going to be important and this is when a website is going to have a higher page rank. So that's all about this little example. Thanks for watching.